Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Pisces for the week starting the 26th of November. This week, it's full on. It's exciting. It's an adventure. It's you allowing yourself to speak differently. Your words are magic. Mercury, the planet of communication, is going forwards. You may have felt yourself restricted in some way by the past or past ideas. Now you are moving forward. Mercury is saying, really spread your wings, be adventurous, allow yourself to look at new philosophies, new ideas. You may even be enlightening other people with your own wisdom and unusual ideas. Embrace the eccentric within this week. But also, Venus and Saturn are conjuncting in the adventurous side of your life and it's saying, Make a commitment to be adventurous in your relationships, particularly your, your romantic relationships. Allow yourself to stretch yourself and to commit to not getting into a, a dull routine, but to always having space in relationships to discover and explore and be the deep little Pisces you are, swimming into the depths of your being and others. Now, there is a full moon and a lunar eclipse. And for you, it's about your home and your family. You're having revelations. You're having feelings. You're having intuitions. You might get quite emotional about your home and family. That might be very joyful or it might be difficult and challenging and traumatic. Let's not forget you're very sensitive. But either way, it's a clearing out. An eclipse is about clearing things out, closing the door and moving on. So embrace it if you feel sensitive, but be aware you're feeling more extreme than usual. And around the 28th, it's a very extreme time for you, but this too shall pass, whatever happens. It could be a good thing. But Mars and Pluto are conjunct. There could be a massive transformation, an ending of a friendship, or meeting someone or arguing with someone in a dramatic way on the 28th. But you're strong enough to do this and not take it too personally. But bear in mind, it's a very emotional time. Now, the good news. There is a grand water trine. You are a water sign. Neptune and Chiron are in your sign and they're in this trine. And it's all about you learning to have fun. Maybe you've had to kick and fight this week. And hopefully you've done it with grace and with unconditional love to express yourself, to be the beautiful, unique soul that you are, to say to the world, this is who I am. And as we get to the end of the week, you have a very pleasant time where you're enjoying yourself. You should have fun. You should be really allowing yourself to be the child within and partying and connecting with people that are soulmates. It's a little feeling of love around you and the potential for new love. If you're in a relationship, after this week's emotional events, you find yourself rebonding or connecting on a new way. Or looking at that person and saying, you are not for me because I enjoy, I enjoy and I deserve happiness. I enjoy to be able to be innocent and childlike and playful and not have to deal with anybody putting me down. You are a warrior, a true warrior of love this week. You are finding yourself in a very deep way. I send you much love and I'll speak to you soon.